Hello guys, welcome to Redditor's Revenge. Here we post amazing revenge stories daily. And if you want more content like this please do subscribe to the channel and stay tuned with us. Moving to our today's first story, about how OP saved a little girl from the bully. And that's the reason OP's mom stuck up for OP right back that day and saved him from bully's mother. Now story. First, a little backstory, I was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York to a single mother who was a police officer for the NYPD 9-11 first responder. And she, unfortunately, has nothing but COPD to show for it. IIRC, they cut off all medical benefits for first responders. And she's also the daughter of a World War II veteran. It's kind have always seemed as if it's always been my mother and myself versus the world, especially after my grandfather and grandmother on her side passed. As our family isn't so big, so the bond we share is irreplaceable, especially after the shitstorm around my biological father, whose story would warrant a super long post longer than the one you're about to read, I assure you. But I digress from the story I wish to share. Anyway, this all happened during St. Patrick's Day back in I think 1998 between 1997 to 1999. For sure, I was 8 or 9 years old at the time. Now, when you hear born to a single mother, hear that she was a police officer for the NYPD, and that this happened around 1998, what would you suppose any responsible adult might do to ensure their child's safety if their days off happened to land on St. Patrick's Day? That's exactly right. Call car service and bring your kid with you to the local American Legion that you have access to since your father was a veteran to get plastered. I promise you she was a good cop, never fired around ever always got awesome performance reviews, and, from what her co-workers tell me, she had whole blocks and neighborhoods cheering for her for some of the arrests she made. IIRC, she also let an I think, world-class retired boxer off the hook, I forget his name, but he was plastered all over the back of a tabloid magazine in, like, 2006 after the ex-boxer beat the shit out of his boss because the boss was in a hole, totally deserved it, and had it coming. The ex-boxer even ran from the scene, but she still forgave it after hearing some of the shit the boss did when she caught him. This was neither the first nor the final time my mother brought me to a bar with her her father, my grandfather. The World War II vet also owned his bar, but to be fair, I would regularly be able to somehow win her money off the Joker poker machines in the bars she'd take me to. Let's say she'd give me $20 tell me to have fun and then I'd come back and win like $400. I've even turned $5 from her into $60. Anyway, the American Legion we went to that night, however, didn't have a Joker poker machine, but rather that touchscreen arcade cabinet with all those trivia games, that basketball game, that, like, curling with coasters game, and so many other games that I've forgotten about them. But then there was my favorite game, that knockoff Wheel of Fortune game, I'd always play the shit out of it anytime my mom took me to any other bar that had the same machine. So, here I am, about 8 years old, give or take a year, and I'm playing knockoff Wheel of Fortune for I forget how long. When suddenly, this little girl, likely 5, 6, 7 years old comes up and asks, Hey, can I play, too? Of course, I said. So as good as I was at the game, even taking into account the letters, Vowels already on the board as they pertain to the category, and I can figure most out of them. Even at my age, there were a few times I got stumped, but the little girl would try something, and it worked. We had win, we cheer, we had high five. Fast forward a few rounds, and this other boy, bigger than me, easily at least a year older than myself, comes up. For lack of a better term, I figured we had a new party member. I forget his greeting. But the next thing I know after inviting him to join in on playing the game, he's talking trash about the little girl. At this point, let's just call this other boy the bully. Now, I have the bully to the left of me, the little girl to the right, and I'm right in the middle. I tried defusing it, like, we can work as a team, but he wouldn't let up on the insults to the little girl. I and the girl still keep trying to play, but the bully just wouldn't let up. Every time, I try to, again, defuse the situation, the bully would listen for maybe a couple of turns, but would always come back to insult the little girl. I continue to play diplomat. Come on let's play the game to both, don't listen to him to the girl, and please stop to the bully, no dice. And then, he keeps jaw jacking, and, the little girl starts to cry. Suddenly, time slows down. I look right at her, 
I see the tears running from her eyes. I look back up at the game screen. Turn over. Game over. I turn to look at the girl again. She's crying her eyes out. I turn to look at the bully. He's laughing. I hop up from the stool. Leave her alone I plead to the bully. In response, I was shoved by him, and what are you gonna do about it? Time slowed down again as his shove drove my leg back, though I was still standing. I looked at him, he was still laughing. I looked over at the girl, and she was still crying. I turn right back to the bully, and I shove him right back, and he lands directly on his ass. Now, the bully is crying a damn river. The little girl, she's not crying anymore, she's jumping up and down, cheering, yay. As the bully, crying rivers, gets up, and I'm ready for him if he wants to do something, but he just runs off, whining. The girl is still cheering, but the game we partnered up and had one last credit left, so we finished that. And I had to go get more money from my mom who was sitting at the bar. Hey, mom, can I get more money for the machine? I asked. My mom paused for a sec. Hey how about you give it a rest for a bit? But mom, hey, let other people have a turn, sit with me, have a soda or something. And it made sense to me, let others have a turn, so, no problem. I sit next to her at the bar. I get a soda, I'm sipping on it. Um, excuse me, I hear from behind. I and my mom turn around, and it's the bully and his mother. Um, excuse me, um, your son pushed my son. The bully's mother quipped, and to be honest, I needed a slight refresher to see that. Indeed, yes. The kid next to his mother who is crying a river is the same kid I just shoved onto his ass. Now, I've always been a pretty well-behaved kid, fearing authority, staying out of trouble, never wanting to be punished, etc. But once I realized the bully brought his mom to complain to my mom that I shoved him, it suddenly dawned on me that, oh duck, my mom's a cop, I just assaulted someone, and now I'm going to jail. So I immediately turned back around on the bar stool, back turned to the bully and his mother, staring at myself in the mirror behind the bar, thinking to myself, oh my god, they're right. Oh my god, my mom's a cop. Oh my god, my mom's gonna arrest me. Oh my god, I'm going to jail, my life is over. I honestly have no idea how long I took that good, hard look into the mirror. But by the time I felt ready to figuratively face the music and turn back around, I saw nothing but my mom with her palms outstretched and folded outwards in confusion, saying, Look, lady, I have no idea what you're talking about, my son was here with me the whole time. I'm thinking to myself, what, I mean, I wasn't going to say anything. Next thing I know, the bully's mother is wagging her finger into the bully's face. What did I tell you about lying to people? What did I tell you, before sending themselves off? Now, if you recall previously, I've described the bully's flow of tears when I shoved him on his ass as being equivalent to that of a river. After this, he began to cry the equivalent of Niagara Falls as he walked off. The entire rest of the night, I have no recollection of, other than myself and my mom got home via car service. With the lingering feeling I got away with murder, at least in my greater than nine year mind. Fast forward about a decade later, I'm getting ready to enter the army, and even for a while before this, my mom allowed me to drink as long as I was home. One night, at least a short while before I was supposed to ship out, we had a few drinks together at home, discussing a few things, and I brought up the night I was just talking about. She remembered that night as well. It turns out she saw me stick up for the little girl, so she stuck up for me right back. Now, here is the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed it and let me know your opinion about this story in the comments section. And you can also share your experience with shady people. So before leaving please hit the like button and do subscribe to the channel to stay tuned with us for more awesome stories.